Welcome back everyone. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. Today's the Benelli Shotgun 12 gauge tactical semi-automatic 5 plus 1. This has been kind of a head scratcher for me because I know that this, this gun is, is known to be reliable and uh, I'm, I'm standing in a pile of shotgun shells uh, that I shot. Actually it's all on film but I, some of it won't make, the, won't make the cut and I'll tell you why. Because I couldn't figure out why I was only getting every other round, sometimes two rounds, and then one to malfunction. So I was getting, you know, between 50 and and 40 and 50 percent uh, failure to feed. And uh, I came out yesterday. I had the same trouble with this shotgun, and my buddy was good enough to loan it to me. It's a real fine. It's not a cheap shotgun. And uh, so I wanted to give this the best showing possible. I wanted to try a bunch of shotgun shells through it just to make sure that it wasn't just inferior shotguns. It wasn't improper technique. And this is what I've come. This is the, the conclusion I've come to, and we'll get into that. But first, I want to show you the Winchester Universal. They're one and one eighth ounce loads. It's just seven and a half birdshot with three dram equivalent powder. And that's what I have in here right now. Okay, failure to feed. Failure to eject. And failure to lock the action back on the last round. Now keep that in mind. I'm shooting three dram equivalent shells, universals, just everyday, kind of the uh, run of the mill on the cheaper side of things, bird loads. This is a tactical shotgun. You would think you would want it to protect yourself in the event that you needed protection. Well, you don't want to use universal Winchesters and you don't want to use any universal, universal bird loads that only have three dram equivalent. Now let me go get the Winchester double A's. Okay, for anyone who doesn't know, the dram equivalent on any shotgun shell kind of is just a, uh, gives you an idea, an indication of how much powder is in the the shell inside the casing. It's also an indication of how much recoil it's going to have versus the weight uh, that your expenditure, the, uh, the projectile that's leaving the barrel. Right now I have one and one eighth ounce load, which is how much the shot weighs coming out of the shell. But now I've upped the DRAM equivalent going to Winchester double A's or more expensive shotgun shells. The DRAM equivalent is three and a quarter. So if you think about it, going from three to three and a quarter, that's quite a bit of a, a bit of a step up. I'm chambered. Every round fed beautifully and it's locked the action back in the last round and I felt the action slamming back against where it's supposed to about to stop and it's to grab a new round and feed it in. At three and a quarter dram equivalent and one and one eighth ounce loads. You can go, now having said that, I don't know if this weapon will feed a three dram equivalent with a heavier load. I don't even know if they make them, but you could hand load them, I'm sure. Say if you went up to uh, one and a quarter ounce loads with three dram equivalent, because you're having a heavier projectile, it might cause the recoil to be a little bit harder back and re reload around. But that's why I always say, I tell everybody, all the time. Get your stuff out. Go shoot it. Know what you're going to get into. I was scratching my head for two days over this, this weapon because I know it's a fine weapon. But this recoil spring and this, this mechanism, the feeding system, the, uh, the gas, the whatever is causing it to do what it does, needs the three and a quarter dram equivalent with the one and one eighth ounce load. So nice Benelli tactical shotgun. Guys, get out and go shoot your stuff. And if you've enjoyed this video, uh, leave me a comment. I'll have some of this in slow motion maybe at the end of my little uh, graphic at the end, whatever. I may put it in the video, but uh, comment, uh, please. I enjoy it. I like to read, and then I'll respond to every comment I get, you know, with, if they're reasonable. And uh, so thanks for watching. Have a great day. All right, real quick, I wanted to show you the differences in these rounds. Can't tell much by looking at it, but this Winchester AA, uh, that I'm holding in my right hand, it's really slicker. It, the, the, it's, it's just slicker and it feels like it has, it's made with a better material. 
this coupled with the more powder three and a quarter dram equivalent versus the universals at three dram equivalent just makes this uh, shotgun perform flawlessly so give you a little bit of idea about ergonomics let me drop this down and start again uh, the ergonomics of the shotgun are very simple but it, it took me a little bit to understand what i was doing let's just put one in actually i'll put two in all right now i've uh, loaded two in the magazine but you can't put in put in one like this. You can actually, uh, I'll show you. Okay, now, since I've pushed this lever right here, you drop one down, ready for it to be put into battery. Now it's in battery. And what I can do, since there hasn't been a pull of the trigger, I can actually take this round out without putting in the other round. So I can empty the chamber without fitting one from the magazine. It's kind of a neat feature. So again, Put one in, push this, put it into battery, load it. Well, I guess it's in battery now, but you get it ready for battery. And uh, that's, uh, that's how it's done. And on the expenditure of the last round, it'll lock the slide back. And at which point, you can just drop a round in up here, or you can close the action. I don't like to let the action fall on anything, really. So if I was just going to fall this without a round, pull back on this push this in and let that fall forward but there you go that's a wrap